Welcome to welcome to my sewing room. Okay, this is Attic Treasures, our video newsletter for you for the month of May. Okay, we're in my sewing room today at my home, and that's why you see the background is a little bit different. But uh, it's exciting to be here because we're going to do some other video and of uh, heirloom sewing. Uh, so for the so beautiful uh, class club. Okay. Uh, we've got some good news that's coming out, okay? Uh, really exciting news. I'm very excited about this, and everybody at the shop is, Judy is, is we now have a new classroom. We have a, our own building with a classroom. It's on the first floor. It's awesome. A lot nice lighting. Everything one could want, okay? Um, and where is it located? It's located across the street from the shop you'll see there's a store called Willow and if you go around the corner from Willow it's the next door in okay and that's the classroom okay we're really excited we'll be moving in there uh, the first of June so probably the Monday after Aquaquan days we'll be setting everything up and our first class there will be the awesome jacket that'll be the Friday after Aquaquan days um, the classroom will we will have all our clubs the embroidery club the uh, so beautiful class club the guide classes will be held there any small uh, uh, lectures if we any lecturing classes or seminars we have small events though they'll be held at, at the new classroom so it's nice close easy down in the comforts of Aquaqua and the whole nine yards so it's really going to be a lot of fun can't wait we can't wait to get in there get everything set up get the walls filled with different displays of our of our uh, classes coming up and we're going to have a grand opening for this classroom the grand opening is going to be on June 18th and 19th okay that is a Saturday and Sunday and for the first 50 people, we have a bag with goodies that are going to be in there and, and surprises. Um, then also what we're going to do is we're going to have an, a drawing on, on the hour. There will be a drawing uh, for a grand, uh, not a grand prize, that's later on, but for a door prize. So hourly we'll have a door prize on both days. Okay, and that will have special gifts in it. Okay. Then we're going to have a grand prize. Now the grand prize won't be announced until July 1st, but it's going to run through the month of June. And what the grand prize is going to be is your choice of a Sophia 2 or a 7th thread embellish, 7, excuse me, not that 7th thread embellisher. Embellisher doesn't use thread, as you know. It's going to be a 7 needle embellisher, okay? And how that works is whenever you come, uh, when you come to the open house, you get a ticket. When you come into the shop, you get a ticket and for every $25 you purchase at the shop you get a ticket for every $25 and your name goes into into the box and we have our grand drawing and you and if you're the winner you get to select which of the two you want doesn't that sound exciting oh it's going to be so much fun it really is the grant come and meet our teachers we've got new teachers we've got besides myself we're going to have at least three three and potentially four new teachers and we're having classes and our and our class uh, samples will be on the wall along with a lot of inspiration uh, articles are going to be on the wall and on the wall for the grand opening too we're going to be loaded with inspiration on on the, uh, that day those two days okay so put that time aside we also have uh, a, an educator coming on June 11th, Pam Smith, and what she's going to do is in our new classroom area, and she's going to lecture on uh, sewing feet and serging feet, and she's going to have a trunk show and how you can use those and the, uh, the oodles of ideas on how the feet operate and what you can do with those feet. So that's a, um, you, something you don't want to miss. You can find the details Go to SoEasySewing.com and go into our classroom section and you'll see the details on the Today's technique is how to use your gathering foot and the ease of using a gathering foot. We're so used to either gathering by lowering our tension and then pulling the bobbin thread to pull up the threads and then hope and pray it doesn't break on us and that and then even out your gathering 
or zigzag over a cord and then pull up your gathering. The gathering foot makes it a lot easier and you'll see the ease of it and you still have with the baby lock gathering foot you've got the ease to still be able to uh, adjust your gathers and pull up more if you want more. Okay, first thing you do, here's our gathering foot. Okay, and you'll see there's a slit or, or trust me there is a slit okay right in the middle there that's when you want to gather and and attach it to a flat piece of fabric. We'll be doing that after the basic gathering. Or if you just want to take a strip and gather it and not attach it to a piece of fabric, that's when you just lay the fabric underneath your uh, gathering foot and it'll, it'll gather it up. You just to put it on the machine, you just slide it on there and tighten, and tighten your screw and excuse my fingers if they're if they happen to get in the way here and we tighten that up Hello. Okay. okay that's tightened in there then you set your machine for a straight stitch okay and you increase the length the higher the length that the more gathers you're going to have okay and I'll, and I'll set it for 5.0 along with the tension the tension also affects how close the gathering is, or how uh, dense it is. The length is basically how much space there is between your gathers. So you'll want to take a piece of scrap and try on scrap piece of fabric to, to make sure that you get the size or the gathering density that you want. Okay, that being said, reach down here and pick up my strip and this is what we're going to gather and what we do you just put it under lower your lower your um, your presser foot okay and let it go and it just gathers up also when it's gathering if for some reason you think oh I want a little bit another technique you can do is just hold it behind the presser foot here like this and then let it go and, and it gathers up as well okay so you, you go and you gather your strip. Okay, when you're done gathering, okay, this is what we have. Okay, we've got our gathered, gathered piece. And you can see how even that is. If, it's, if you want to adjust it, those, those stitches are not locked in that you can't adjust. You can see how I'm adjusting it right now. Okay, going back and forth. Or if you want it tighter, you just take the bobbin thread, okay, and you can pull the bobbin thread and you get a tighter, you get a tighter gather, okay. Then when you're all set and you have it the way you want it, then you take what the fabric that you want to attach it to and you lay your gathering, your piece that's gathered down, okay, and Straighten that out. There's a couple spots here that's a little tighter. Okay. Now we're going to put that aside because what we're going to do is we're going to take and put our open toe foot on. Okay. And then, and I'll show you. Put, put our, I'm going to use an open toe foot. You can use your utility foot, whatever. Uh, foot that you feel comfortable with that you like to use. Okay, and trying to get it in there to adjust so I can screw it in there. Okay. And I'll take the screwdriver and tighten it up there. That's all. That's in place. So what we do is then just set your machine for a standard stitch. Okay. Lower your feed dogs. And gather. And stitch it in place. Okay.
And there we have it. Okay? And that's what it looks like. All done. Isn't that nice and fast and easy? Okay, that's a ta that's that method is gathering it. Remember your tensions and your stitch length will determine the density. Okay, I've attached my gathering foot again because now we're going to I'm going to show you when you stitch all in one step where it's going to gather and attach to a flat piece of fabric. So what you do is you take the piece the gathering foot is on. Okay, and then you're going to take the piece that you want to gather and that's going to lay flat on the on the bed of the machine. Then you take the piece of fabric that you want to gather to, the piece that's going to stay, stay straight, and you slide that right in in that little slot that's on the gathering foot, okay? Like that. Now I'm going to leave these off a little bit so you can see how it's gathering as it goes through. Okay, so we've got it set up like that, okay? Bottom is what's going to gather, the top that's in the slot is what's going to stay straight. We lower our, our uh, presser foot. Now I find often that if I hold this a little bit to the right, it'll stay and hold it in the back so it stays because it's going to want a tendency, the tendency is for this top layer to go out to the left. That's because of all the gathering that's happening underneath. Okay. So what we do is we hold it back behind the presser foot, and I'm going to hold it. Normally you will hold it probably closer up to here, but if I do that, you're not going to be able to see it feeding through. So uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to hold it back. And hold it a little bit to the right. That also helps it to go through. Okay? And then you let it feed through. Okay, you can see how it's gathering here, over here on the right. Okay, and you don't want to hold back your under under one because if you do hold the under one back, you're not going to get any gathers. Okay, so you let it feed through. Okay, you're only going to get like a quarter of an inch seam unless, once again, you can take your needle position and move it to the left then you'll get a deeper seam, okay? And then you let it s stitch up, okay? There. Now. Okay. And now we've stitched. So we've stitched it, to, we've stitched the straight to, and it's gathered, as you can see here. You can see it on this side, it's all gathered up. Now when I open it out, there we have our gathered stitch to the fabric. Now wasn't that easy? And it's all and it's all complete. This the christening gown over here is has the ruffle along the bottom, and that was done with the gathering foot. So you can see how and there's a lot of ruffle here and a lot of length. And rather than pulling threads and and having gathering stitches show and having to pull your gathering stitches out. You don't have any of that. So if you go with the gathering foot, it makes your life a lot easier. Okay, And you can get a gathering foot down at the shop. Our newsletter has the ga gathering, has a coupon this month for 20% off the gathering foot. So um, clip that coupon, come down to the shop, get your foot and go home and zip up all those ruffles. So, until the next time, enjoy your gathering, and we'll have another good tip for you later.